Controversy over the N-word has erupted once more, this time courtesy of radio host Dr. Laura Schlesinger. Take a look. I'm having an issue with my husband. I'm black and he's white. On Tuesday, after an African-American woman called Dr. Laura Schlesinger to say she was troubled by comments made by friends of her white husband, Schlesinger said there was a double standard when it comes to the N-word. And turn on HBO, listen to a black comic, and all you hear is I don't get it. If anybody, if anybody without enough melanin says it, it's a horrible thing. That led to an on-air argument. I can't believe someone like you is on the radio screwing up the n word, and but I hope you, everybody heard it. So what they makes did, and I'll say, say it again. N is what you so hear on HB. It, if you're that hypersensitive about color and don't have a sense of humor, don't marry out of your race. One day later, Schlesinger backtracked, saying she was sorry. I didn't intend to hurt people. I was attempting to make a philosophical point, and I articulated the N-word all the way out more than one time, and that was wrong. Her production company tells CBS News, quote, her advertisers know this was an anomaly and they know she's not a racist. But some, including the Reverend Al Sharpton, are now calling on sponsors to rethink their support of Dr. Laura's show, which has 9 million weekly listeners. Jeff Glor, CBS News, New York. Joining us to discuss is CBS News Sunday morning contributor Nancy Giles. Great to see you. Thank you. And as we were listening to this footage, I watched you and, and you were shaking your head. You did watch me, didn't you? Yeah, I was making faces. I was, I was listening you to what she said. You were uncomfortable. It's, it's beyond uncomfortable. See, it's not even as simple as her just using the N-word and wondering why white people can't use it. I mean, this is a word that has always been associated with dehumanizing black people, making us... Uh, feel less than human, making us feel second-class citizens. I mean, it came out of slavery at a time when we weren't considered whole human beings. So I guess my first question to Dr. Laura is, why do you want to use it so much? I mean, she had her chance. She got to say it six times. But, like, what's the burning desire of wanting to use the N-word? I don't get it. The apology that followed it up. Well, it's kind of a non-apology apology. I mean, she said she didn't intend to hurt anybody and that she was trying to make a philosophical point. But, um, Rebecca, I've been looking through notes of, you know, Dr. Laura's site. I can't find the philosophical point anywhere. I just can't find it. I mean, I understand that she thought that because she heard some comics saying NNN on HBO that maybe she thought that was acceptable. But for every person that might use it, there are millions, tens of millions of black people who don't find it acceptable. I wasn't raised to use that word. It's, it's, a, it's a bad word. It's, it's got violence and lynching and being, you know, all these bad things associated with it. Is there someone out there that could communicate that message to the broader public, you think, that would, that would make an impact, that would say this word isn't right to use and, and would be the right kind of face or name behind that thinking? Well, you know, it's, it's difficult because not all black people think alike about this issue. There are a lot of people, some of them comedians, some of them even sociologists, who feel like the, the idea of taking that word and reclaiming it by using it a lot and, you know, it'll lessen its power. How's that working for them? I don't think it's working so well. So it's, it's kind of a liquid issue, you know. It, it's just strange to think that anybody would want to associate themselves or use a word with that kind of loaded history. I, I, and Does it surprise you, then, that the advertisers are standing by in this case? Oh, no. I wish it did. I mean, for starters, I want to know why this poor black woman called Dr. Laura for advice. That's, like, that's already crazy. And, and where did she get her degree? That, you know, I have other questions like that. Like, what is she? Is she, like, a doctor of love or something like that? I have no idea. But it seems like... The more outrageous talk show people act on the radio. The more viewership, the, the more, more listeners. Viewership, exactly, the more advertisers. It, it all seems to be sort of money driven. And we're living in this time where bad behavior seems to keep getting rewarded. So, and look, we're all talking about Dr. Laura, whose ratings weren't so good to start with, I don't think. So, what should be the consequence in this case? Oh, it's, it's, you know, just saying she should be fired or something like that isn't enough. I, I guess I'd like to see her sit down and maybe watch a documentary like Eyes on the Prize. Mm. It's a six-part documentary about the civil rights movement. Maybe then when she sees people like Bull Connor and George Wallace using the N-word, she'll want to use it less. I hope she gets over that. Nancy Giles, thank you for being with us thank this morning. Thank you. Great to talk to you.